This video will show you how you can create your own computerized or synthetic voice using acapella MOV. You can start and stop as much as you need to. We recommend recording at a time of day when your voice is the strongest. Step one, get ready to record. Here's what you'll need to record. A computer with internet connection, a headset microphone, and a quiet space. Make sure all phones are silenced and TVs are off before you begin. You'll also need your acapella login information. If you haven't registered yet, stop here and watch our video on how to record for an acapella account. Step two, log in. To get started, launch your web browser. We recommend using Google Chrome. Go to https colon forward slash forward slash mov.acapella-group.com forward slash. Enter your username and password for acapella. You can copy and paste this from your email. Agree to the Terms of Service and click Accept. Step 3. Set up the headset microphone. Connect the headset microphone to the USB port on your computer. A message might pop up asking if you want to give Chrome permission to use your microphone. Click Allow. Put the headset comfortably on your head and adjust the microphone so it's just an inch or two below your lips. Step four, set up the MOV recorder. From the acapella website, select record from the menu of options across the top of the screen. Click launch MOV online recorder. You'll need to log in once more here and you can copy and paste your username and password from your email. You can also tell the site to remember you so you don't need to log in each time you return to record. Check Skip the Tutorial and click OK. Next, you'll be asked to select a recording device. Click the drop-down menu to select the microphone you're using. In this case, it's L-O-G-I. Then, you'll be asked if you want to record in auto mode. We suggest not using auto mode and stepping yourself through recording. If you use auto mode, the system will automatically advance from one recording to the next. Next, you'll decide if you want the computer to read the examples aloud. If you have trouble reading the text on the screen, check this box. Otherwise, we recommend not having the computer reading the example, so leave this box unchecked. A pop-up will appear asking if you want to record custom messages. Check no for now. We will return to this option after you finish recording the default 50 sentences. The last step is to calibrate the microphone. When you are ready, click the record microphone button. After the beep, count one, two, three, four, then wait silently. One, two, three, four. You should see a message that the calibration was successful. If you don't, please see our video on troubleshooting. Step 5. Record. Let's review what the screen will look like as you record. At the top, you will see the sentence you need to speak highlighted. On the right, you will see your progress in the recording process. The forward and back buttons will allow you to select different sentences to record or re-record if you make a mistake. The microphone button is both your record button to begin recording and your pause button to stop recording after you speak a sentence. To hear the computer speak the selected sentence, click this button. To replay your recording, click this button. Now we are ready to record. Make sure to speak at a natural pace and volume, taking breaks as you need. Let's get started. Press the microphone button. You will see a visual countdown, two, one, and hear a beep. Speak the sentence you see on the screen. Press pause to stop recording. 
the computer will replay the first three recordings to you automatically. After that, you can click the listen button to hear your recording. A choice of shoes to wear. A choice of shoes to wear. He handed out ashtrays. He handed out ashtrays. If you make a mistake, don't worry. You can use the forward backward buttons to select the sentence and re-record to get the best version of your recording. After you've recorded the 50 sentences, you'll see a pop-up asking if you want to record custom messages. Please see the acapella website for more information. If you want to add custom messages, select yes and follow the instructions to add messages. If you're not interested, select no. Now she is singing in a Manhattan club. Take pan off the heat and leave to cool. His escape sets up the final hour of the movie. Step six, submit files to create your voice. The last step is to ask acapella to create your voice. This step cannot be undone. So make sure you've added custom messages if you want to before you click Submit Request. You will receive an email notification from Acapella in one to two business days that your voice is ready to preview. To listen to your voice, log into the Acapella website. From the menu at the top, click Listen. Enter text for the voice to speak and select Listen. Adjust the rate and shaping of the voice and make note of any preferred settings. This is how my acapella voice sounds now. We hope this video was helpful. The work, innovation, and educational materials from the J.S. Fishman ALS Augmentative Communication Program is only possible due to generous philanthropy. If you are interested in supporting our work, please consider making a gift using this QR code or link, and thank you. If you want to learn more about our work, please follow us on YouTube.